What? Nothing. At least she's putting something back. Mr. Griffin, please. Is he giving you a hard time? No. Okay, do you know where I can find him? Social services have been on the phone again. Yes, I will get them the stupid form. It's in my handbag. I'm just the messenger. Look, just give me a break, Mark. Yeah, okay. I'm oh, back. I hang up. <laughs> These things in front of your head, they're called eyes. That was Daisha's fault. Oh, that's what I love about you, Tom. Teflon shoulders, nothing sticks. Whatever. Just take Mrs. Ellis up to Darwin. Try not to tip her out the chair. Taylor has regained consciousness. You could it? Nope. Uh, verbal, motor, eyes, uh, it's all looking good. Well, talk about naught to 60. Well, I'll be honest, I didn't think she'd make it. Well done, Linda. But the vagal nerve procedure was two weeks ago. If you ask me, we should file this one under miracle. You did it, Lyndon. Make sure the Lancer gets your best side. Thank you. Yeah, I was just, uh, yeah, 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 this morning I was going to sign a DNR form. It's just such a roller coaster, you know. Do you want to know how she is? Yeah, of course. She's aware of her surroundings, she's talking. Your wife is quite a phenomenon. She does have a lot of fans. It's you that Callie wants to see, you and the kids. Yeah, they're at a friend's house. Do they know that she's awake? I just need some space, okay, get my head round it. She's alive. I know, Mr. Cullen. I know. Call me old-fashioned, Mr. Taylor. I thought you'd be pleased. I appreciate everything you've done. I really do. But do you really think we can go back to what it was after what she's done? Everything's changed. She needs you. No, she doesn't. Not me. Have the police been to see her? Uh, no, um... She doesn't remember much. Details may come in time. So. She doesn't remember? No. I've got to go. Don't you want to... Sorry. Donna. Donna. Blimey, you look hell. Hangover for anything. Yeah. Put up you. Look, you've got to help me. I can't find him anywhere. Who? I've tried the coffee shop, the canteen, the whole of the wiving wing. Really? I mean, you turn your back for five minutes. It's like this patient's got turbo slippers. Maria. I'm going to have to tell Mr. Griffin. And he's going to think I'm really rubbish at my job, which is fine, because that's exactly... What... Ow! What did you do that for? Just relax, OK? Yeah, this isn't funny. I've lost a patient. All right, just stake out the smoker shelter, all right? That's where the MIA's usually hang out. Uh, Mr Davis has got dementia. You no, know, short of a ball and string, there's no way he's going to find his way back. All right, I, I can't search the whole of the hospital on my own. I was wondering if you could... But the, the thing is, Mark's already got the hump, so I, I don't really want to... Yeah, no, sorry. This is my mess. I'll sort it out. Maria. Okay, we're going to operate soon. This thing's going to burst. Hello again, how are you feeling? I've got this fuzzing sound again. Plus, he's got this nasty rash. Mm. Probably an allergic reaction to the pain relief. Right, yeah. let's switch to pethidine, 50 milligrams. You know, you're quite an enigma. You're the first abscess I've treated with a side order of tinnitus uh, and skin rash. I feel ten times worse after my scan. Well, we'll get you into theatre as soon as we can. No way. It's this place. Don't tell me we're on a ley line. It's the medical equipment, electromagnetic radiation. Hmm. Well, there's nothing in your notes which suggests that you've uh, complained about it before. I know how I feel, Doctor. You have to believe me. I think we believe what we want to believe. Let's whip some more blood for toxicology. I'm not a hypochondriac. I hate hospitals. Nothing a shot on the arm won't solve. No way. You're not putting me under. Mr. Black, that abscess is too big for a percutaneous drain. We have to open you up. I'm not going into the theatre or their electro smog. Who knows what it could do to me? I'm afraid we don't have much choice. Those are my clothes. That thing ruptures, you're going to go into septic shock. Electromagnetic waves will be the last thing on your mind. I've got private. You don't have the time. Oh, I can't see properly. Oh. 
All right. All right, Mr. Black. You win. All right. Get me the agency sister and call the cleaners. Why? What's happening? We're going to have to turn the treatment room into a theatre. Okay. Well, definitely some consolidation there. You'll need a chest x-ray. You have a lot of phlegm and mucus. Do we even know where this guy's from? I think he's Bengali. Okay, can we ring for an interpreter? Hear that? That clunk insane. Money being poured down the drain. Well, he needs to know what's going on. He knows exactly what's going on. Oi, what do you do? Take a taxi straight from the airport? One more word out of you, and you'll be enjoying the view from the car park. Go on, take his side. The PC brigade. Look, health tourism's what I'm talking about. Found this on the floor. Flew in from Dartley yesterday. Well, at least we have a name. Hassan Rahman. Coming back from his holiday, Mr Jennings. Bleeding art you may be, but you don't score points for being thick. Excuse me? It's the same with those Koreans. Half a million on two kids. It's not half a million. It was nowhere near that much. Yeah, my wife's Jerry Hall. Really, my money was on Eva Braun. Are you calling me a Nazi? Come on, let's just take five, shall we? Listen, I work hard. Pay my taxes. I'm drawing a line. Do you know what? You're right. We should get tough. My taxes. I'm drawing a line. Do you know what? You're right. We should get tough. Turn away the obese kids, the 20 a days, the people that don't know when to see when. Just look out for those um, hideous red slippers, yeah? yeah? It's a shame we can't click them three times and save us all the bother, innit? Oh. What's he in for, anyway? Um, Iliostomy. Oh, and he's, uh, his bag's a little bit hefty, so... Wait, I'm telling you now, if the old boy makes a run for it, I am not taking it in. Oh. Hey. May I help you, Nurse Kendall? I mislaid a patient. You mislay a pair of glasses. Uh, just a minute. Sister Morton, are you up here? She's not on Keller today. No, of course. I was just testing. Off you go. God, I hate this time of year. Everyone dropping like flies. You say so? Yeah. They must be suffering if she can't come into work today. It's not like her to take it ill. No, I'm just saying that's all. Oh, you should know. She's your fiance. Just pull the blinds up for a little bit. Have to go. What's up? You tired of the old look? Welcome to Theatre Two. Uh, we have a brand new one, fresh out of the box, right there, in case you forgot. I know, but I require something more low tech. Why? One of my patients suffers from electrosensitivity. Oh, and I'm from planet Uranus. <laughs> well, he suffers from. Tinnitus, rash, lethargy. What, did they remove gullible from the dictionary? Yeah, I know, I know. It's almost certainly psychosomatic. It's certainly Stone Age. But how many patients say yes to surgery under a local? So what? So, blood loss, pain management, recovery rate, they all improve under local anesthesia, as Mr. Black is about to find out. It's a win-win. Whatever, it's your patient. Hey, it must be your day for hopeless causes, right? I need to 